hi amazing people welcome to my channel thank you so much for all of your love and support thank you for always taking out your time uh to watch me uh, my name is daisy so today we are going to be talking about how you can apply for your child's uh citizenship id card brazilian citizenship id card and also passport afterwards okay so the first thing you need to do when you're ready to uh, apply for your child's uh, citizenship id card is to ensure that okay before we get to that stage um one thing you need to know is as soon as you give birth to your child you are very very free and ready you are you can be ready anytime or you can prepare yourself anytime as from the day you give birth to apply for your child citizenship id card there is no specific time like okay it's two weeks later you can apply or one month later no as soon as your child is born you are very free to apply for your child's citizenship id card and also your child's passport okay it is instant you can do it immediately anyway so let's move forward um after giving birth to your child you're ready to apply for your child's citizenship id card uh the first thing you need to do is to uh book an appointment with a place called popa temple okay popa i think popa i'm gonna put it somewhere right there popa temple okay so when you you need to find the popa temple around your neighborhood the same area where you live in you find a popa temple in that area when you get a proper temple in that area, you need to go straight to their office, okay? So what you're going to be doing there is booking an appointment. It is very vital that you book an appointment at the proper temple. You will have your dates, your time for you to uh, for you to go there with your child, okay? So um, upon appointment, on the appointment day, these are the things that will be required of you, okay? So when you get there with your child, that day is, going, uh, uh, is mapped out to take your child's you know photo okay like going for biometrics or something like that uh take your child's photo and there will be other information that will be requested or required of you so for example make sure that when you're going you take all your child's hospital information because there are some things here and there they might need from your your baby's hospital details okay for example the weight of your baby if you don't know it's always in all your documents that you know from the day your child is born it's in the vaccination card you can check it the weight is there the height is there the length whatever everything you need to know about your child will definitely be in your child's hospital documentation in uh, yeah hospital documentation from the hospital okay so for example uh your child's weight will be asked for your child's i think height or something will be asked for and then your child's um hospital id card number will be requested for they call it sus so you need to take your child's sus card in fact pack all you, anything you use for your child's hospital uh, every hospital details take it with you because you don't know what and what they'll be asking from you in there so you in order not for you to like oh i didn't bring this i didn't bring that just pack everything you know you used and was given to you for your child in the hospital okay so Whenever you're asked, even if you don't remember, you can always go into the details and get whatever whatever information you need. Like I said, the weight definitely will be asked. Your sus, the sus card of the baby will be asked. And uh, I think the height and some other things. And how many months your baby is, things like that. So as soon as that is done, all information collected, they will ask for your mother's name, father's name. Uh, your, your husband or yourself can sign for the child that you are there for the biometrics and all of that stuff either one can can do it your your husband or yourself can uh actually sign to say yes um to say yes uh uh yeah um, you know um, we are ready for this and when you're doing all of these things just make sure that the name every information you're putting in is correct make sure your names are spelled correctly your husband's name spelled correctly grandmother grandfather whatever thing you are filling in make sure they are correct because if they are not it's going to affect the child or it's gonna you and then you will have to do it all over again it's not only in the case of the child even for yourself if you're applying for anything maybe you're applying for your permanent residency you need to make sure that every detail is correct your own father's name mother's name uncle whatever they ask of from you make sure they are well arranged and if your name well, however your name is in all of your documents make sure it is presented the same way at every stage don't change your son name for your own name in one document and change your name for the son name in another document it will be rejected automatically 
it will not be accepted and when even if your documentation comes out but the names are kind of different in all documentations it wouldn't be accepted anywhere you go it will be confusing and then it will bring you problems in the future and as a result you will have to do it all over again so make sure your names details everything are penned down correctly for yourself or your child during any process okay so after that is done biometric is done they're going to tell you come so 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 day to get your baby's identification uh id card no i id identification card yes anyway so um yeah so do not forget the first step you need to take Make sure you're ready. Second stage, go to the proper temple near you, book an appointment on the day of your appointment and time. Make sure you're there. Your child is going to capture, okay? Uh, and on that day, all information will be gotten from both hospital, both personal details, parent details, and every other details that will be any other thing they need from. But it wouldn't pass your parents' details, hospital details, and, that, and details of the child, him or herself, okay? So that is basically it. And um, subsequently, it doesn't really take long for the ID card to be ready. I think within one week, your child's ID card will be ready. Uh, and when it's ready, you are very, 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 very good to go in terms of proceeding to the stage of getting your baby's passport. So what do you need to get your baby's passport? You need to book an appointment with the police. Yeah, federal, okay, federal police. All right, so book an appointment with the federal police. If you go to the federal police just like that in your area, if you go there without an appointment, bet me, I bet you they will not attend to you. So make sure you book an appointment online. On the date of your appointment, make sure you get there on time. Uh, and then um, make sure you get there on time. And then, uh, then uh, present yourself, present your case, and then you'll be definitely attended to. When you get an appointment, you get to the reception, tell them what you're there for, your child's passport. Believe me, you, uh, they will... Uh, do capturing for your child or they will tell you step by step what what you need to do on that day so but basically the most important thing is for you to book an appointment with them on that day your child will definitely take photos and every other information they need from you they will show you the department where you need to go for your passport and that is where every other thing will be done capturing a photo and every other information they need from you they will ask and then subsequently they will tell you when to come get it it doesn't take long at all i think a day a week or so less than a week or around just in between a week your pass your child's passport will be ready so it's that simple it's not difficult at all so if you have questions for me put it down in the comment section below thank you so much for always watching me uh i will see you in my next video i love you all. bye